Hey Capricorn, this is Moon Pie doing your love reading for the end of January. All right, let's take a look and see what the love messages are for the person that you're connected with and we'll take a look at your love energy as well. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. If I say Sagittarius, please forgive me because I just got done doing the Sag reading um, or you could be connected with a Sagittarius. All right, Capricorn, Capricorn. Let's see. Oh, two cards fell out here. Okay, Four of Wands and the uh, Fool card. Okay, Aquarius energy. Um, somebody's, your person is making a decision not to go home or they're thinking that getting married is a big risk. Okay, for them. All right, it's a cautious risk. Um, they're stepping into this very lightly. Um, they're thinking about it, but they're not 100% sure if this is what they want. Maybe now all of a sudden they're springing in on you or this is just like the general energy of, you know, the person. They're just, they think marriage is a huge risk and it's not something that they do or take very lightly. Okay. When they make the decision to do this, whoever your person is, it's done and then it's forever. All right. So. Um, there's also an energy here of somebody not being able to come home, like a family situation, okay? Um, so, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, and Ten of Swords. So, we have two Tens. All right. So, there's a feeling of um, a fear of betrayal, and there's a feeling of uh, losing everything of financial. So, prenup is what I'm hearing. Somebody... Somebody might be saying to you, we'll get married or we'll do this if, you know, you're not going to take all my money <laughs> or, you know, um, you're going to help me build and not drain me. Um, they may also not have the money at this time or fearing they won't have the finances to engage in a marriage of some sort or, you know, do the whole marriage thing. Because, of course, marriage is a legal binding contract and it does come with a financial burden or a financial risk. Right. So this is where your person is at this time, um, even if they do, because it's still a positive card. So even if they are looking to get into some type of um, committed situation, a contract with you or something along those lines, they're they're worried about it. They're worried that it's going to end in disaster. OK, so Queen of Wands, what did I say? Sagittarius, some of you are connected to a fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. OK, Um you know, this person is pretty confident about, you know, the things that they're doing in their life and, you know, who they are. But again, the situation, they're just kind of like, hmm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, I have to look at the whole picture. And um, Capricorn, that's something you would do. So maybe you are having communication with them and telling them, you know, think about this like thoroughly. Like if, because Capricorn, when you get married or you commit or you go into like a legal binding contract or something, you make sure that, you know, th it's on the up and up. Okay. So maybe you're trying to convince them to not be too frilly about it and take it seriously. All right. All right. So let's take a look and see what your energy is here. All right, you've got the Wheel of Fortune, so it's definitely in your favor. I mean, you don't feel like this is a bad decision. You don't feel like this is going, is wrong for you or not a good thing for you to do. You're you're good with it. Like, I feel like you really care about this person, and you guys can make a really good go of it and, and actually have, like, a fortunate connection, a fortunate marriage, and, and you know, things, things will turn in your favor. Like, you feel very positive about this. Here we have Leo energy. You feel very confident about this connection with this person. You're pretty sure you've met the match, your love of your life. Um, but I, I just feel like you, you want them to be sure that they want to come into some kind of thing with you. Um, cause you're not taking any prisoners <laughs> Capricorn. You're just basically like, you know what? I've cut, I'm going to cut all these other people away so we can be together, but I need you to come. If you're going to do this with me, I need you to be for real. I need you to be you know, on the up and up and be straight about this. Okay. So you're just in this position here where you like, you know, defending what's yours. Um, 
and you're being kind of cocky about it, you know, because you just, you're not playing games. I don't know what's going on with you, but Capricorn, you're just not playing games, right? You'll simply say, listen, we'll hold off on this love until you're ready. I'm going to withhold. I'm going to withdraw. I'm not going to put my energy into anything with you. If you're, uh, if you're not sure about me and you're not sure about us, right? Because, um, you have like this business mind, you know, when it comes to like investments and stocks, like unless you know, like it's a good, there'll be a good return on your investment. Um, you're going to be risky and you're going to be kind of like skeptical about it. And this, I feel like you're looking at this relationship in a very business like manner. You know, I mean, I'm not going to invest in you unless I know I'm going to get a return on my investment. What am I going to do? I invest in you and then you, you wind up leaving or you're walking away. Like you are very business oriented about this whole connection. Okay. And there you are sitting there. Yep. You're just like, no, I got my, I got my dime. So I have my coin. I'm good. I'm very stable. I like your energy Capricorn. I really do. I feel like whomever your person is, regardless of what sign I said, whatever's going on with your person, you're in a really good place right here. And I think you should stay in that place, um, especially at the end of the week, because they might come and say to you that, oh, you know, they might get a little willy nilly on you or just tell you like, you know, they're not really sure. They might start flaking a little bit. And, you know, you're probably just going to tell them, listen, whether this is a love relationship or this is a business deal or whatever kind of a contract, whatever's going on, you're probably just going to say to them, look, it's fine. If you can't do it or you don't want to do it, just tell me now. But if, you, if you're not sure, then go take some time. We'll take a time out. Go take a little time and figure out what you need to do or what you're going to do because I'm good. I'm good for now. I'm here and I got my money and I got everything else going for me. So you got to, you don't want anyone investing in you back that isn't going to truly give in, you know, give to you what you're putting in. All right, Capricorn. So I wish you all the best. Check out the February love readings have already been uploaded to my channel. They're in my playlist. Little sneak peek. They're a little early, but definitely check them out. Love you guys. Bye.